नमस्वा स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द क्लास स्टूडेंट इन दिस क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम द सोशियोलॉजी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ क्लास इलेवन एंड द चैप्टर इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन इन दिस क्लास वी विल हैव अ डिस्कशन ऑन सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द सोशल इंस्टीट्यूशन फ्रॉम द फंक्शनलिस्ट परस्पेक्टिव एंड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट थ्योरी परस्पेक्टिव and then we will talk about family which is a universal social institution now let's start the social institution here if we recap what we have learned till now then we have studied that sociology talks about interaction of the individual in society and we know that each one of us as individual occupies a place or location in the society and each of us has role or multiple roles to play but these are not what we have choose for ourselves there are numbers of factors which defines that what role we will play in the society and there are social institutions that constrain and control punishes and rewards if we talk about social institution there could be macro social institution like state and micro social institution like the family now let's try to understand what social institutions are when we talk about institution it is something that works according to rules established or at least acknowledged by law or by custom and regular and continuous operation of such institution cannot be understood without taking those rules into account it means that when we talk about institution these customs rules are very important and these are there so that the society and the institution they can runs very smoothly now these institutions they impose constraint and they also provide opportunities to the members of the society till now we have discussed that in sociology there are conflicting view or there are diverse view and we have looked at various concepts from the functionalist view point and from the conflict theory view point so now let's try to understand the social institutions also from the functionalist perspective and also from the conflict theory perspective a functionalist perspective understands social institutions as a complex set of social norms values beliefs and role relationships that arise in response to the needs of family which means that these norms values and beliefs are necessary for any society so that it runs smoothly and social institutions exist to satisfy social needs and when we talk about these institutions there could be formal institution like education and there could be informal institution like family and religion now if we look at social institutions from the conflict view point conflict view holds that uh, all individuals are not placed equally in society as we have already discussed in our previous classes that there is one dominant class which exert pressure on others all social institutions familial religious political economic legal or educational will operate in the interest of the dominant section of the society and it could be class caste tribe or gender now this dominant social section they not only dominates political and economic institution but the most important thing that it ensures that ruling class ideas become the ruling ideas of the society now this is the difference between social institution if we look at the social institutions from functionalist view and from the conflict theory view if we look at the social institutions there are numbers of social institutions in this chapter we will discuss about family marriage and kinship and there is a social institution in economic field political field education and religion also but in this class we will focus on 
family marriage and kinship but before that let's understand what family marriage and kinship is or what these terms means family is a group of person directly linked by kin connections the adult members of which assume responsibility for caring for children now when we talk about kinship kinship ties are connection between individuals established either through marriage or through lines of descent that connects blood relatives and marriage can be defined as a socially acknowledged and approved sexual union between two individuals in our next class we will talk about family in detail so till then take care of yourself namaste bye